right. Right now, the government will not confirm if she is dead or alive. Good evening, Arizona, and thanks so much. I'm Heather Moore. And I'm Brandon Lee. This morning, the Islamic State claimed that the Prescott native Kayla Mueller was killed in an airstrike in Syria. She attended NAU and was working overseas with humanitarian groups when she was captured back in 2013. Allison Blair joining us tonight in Prescott, where friends and family are praying that she's still alive. Yavapai, Yavapai County deputies have had the road blocked up to the Mueller's home for most of the day. As you can imagine, the family isn't ready yet to speak with the media. However, I did speak with a family friend today who tells me that what the family needs more than anything else right now is privacy and prayers. Late this morning, we received an email from a Mueller family spokesperson denying an interview request. That didn't surprise Dr. Todd Geiler. He's been close with Kayla's dad for more than two decades. Dr. Geiler first met Kayla at his practice when she was a young girl. He says even then, she always had so much compassion. The daughter is one of those folks that looks for the good in everything. And in that vein, she goes on ahead and... and uh, Tries to, tries to look for her God center with the way she looks and, and acts day-to-day -day life. Most people that I spoke with today were extremely surprised that this international story is unfolding in their backyard. We will continue to follow any developments that happen on this. For now, we're reporting live in Prescott, Allison Blair. Allison, thank you. And to better understand what is happening right now with ISIS and the Arizona woman being held hostage, we turn now to a local expert. Zudi Josser is the president and the founder of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. He says his gut instinct is that ISIS is using Kayla Mueller as propaganda. He believes that she was actually killed some time ago and thinks that the burning of a Jordanian is another act of propaganda, even calling the member of ISIS monsters. He says they're completely different compared to devout Muslims. No Muslim I know has ever even come close to articulating the type of savagery and barbarism that ISIS epitomizes. This problem, though, will not go away unless devout practicing Muslims gain back the mantle of our faith. Jasser says that it is important for Muslims to realize and admit that countries like Iran and Saudi Arabia foster societies that use religion to create 